We're live. I'm live. Yes. We are live. Live with Gordon cooking orange chicken. Jackie's here. Deb on the moves here. Me. Hi, everybody. Hello. I can't see chat, so. I got to get mine pulled up. If anybody's here, hello. Get this pulled up and get the settings set. Hey, Tracy. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Oh, thank you, Tracy. That's very nice of you. We're just sitting here reminiscing about old times and life in general. And Did you see those purse charms and keychains and stuff Tracy has made? Yes. I did. I got a couple of them. Oh, my gosh. They are gorgeous. Those are I know beautiful. They, are. they look even prettier on, you know, when you get them. Tracy, you need to teach Gordon how to make them. He made me a couple. He, he tried a couple of them, and they're different than what Tracy makes, but, but they're pretty. Well, Tracy picks the best beads and stuff to make them. Mm-hmm. I'll have to show you guys his, his, um, his little purse trinkets he's making. I love he's, it. Mm-hmm. Gordon's so crafty and handy. Yeah. Yeah. He, he just excels at everything he does. Have I you still started can't... cooking yet? Gordon? What? Have you started cooking yet? Oh, you ready for me to start? Yeah. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, Gordon. Hi. Part of this recipe called for marinating the chicken, so I've already done that. Um, I've cut my chicken breast up into uh, bite-sized chunks. Uh, the marinade was uh, made out of orange juice, ginger, garlic, uh, salt, pepper, and a beaten egg. The next step it calls for is taking a, a three, course of, three fourths of a cup of cornstarch and a cup of all-purpose flour. And you pour it in here, and I stir it together. It since it's supposed to be the consistency of uh, pancakes there. So we'll see how that works out. I've got some water here I can add if I need to. I've already got my oil heating up, so. Trying to get this stuff all covered up, because I guess this is going to be the breading for the chicken. I don't want to make sure it's all covered good. Uh, and just in the frying pan, I've got a, a mixture of vegetable oil and three-fourths of a bottle of sesame oil. Sesame oil? Did you say sesame oil? Sesame oil. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to check and see how hot my oil is. Hot enough. And this is the recipe that Lucy J shared with me. Oh, now yeah? we'll take these pieces of chicken and put them in oil. Oh, that's interesting. It's a little different. My kids love orange chicken. They do. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not I sure if too. I've ever had it. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's one of my favorite from a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. I usually get the sweet and sour chicken. Does it have a batter on it? Yeah. 
because sometimes the they make it sweet and sour orange. Mmm. What, honey? One thing it mentioned is where I take it out of the oil, it said to put it on a rack over a pan, not on paper towels. I assume that's so it stays crispy and doesn't get soggy. Okay. Tracy says, how are we all doing? Good, Tracy. Doing great. That's really good to hear, Deb. Yeah. After all she's been through. Yeah, <laughs> she sailed right through her surgery. You like the General Tso's chicken, Tracy? I like that, too. I do, too. Sometimes my stomach doesn't like the spice. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's the not heat. too spicy. Huh? As long as it's not too spicy. Yeah. If they just put the peppers in there with it, that's okay. But when it's too spicy, uh -uh, too much. Tracy made ribbons and chips. Ooh, that sounds good, too. Mm-hmm. Donovan's supposed to take me out for corned beef and cabbage. Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Unless he's that too tired, good. then he has to take me tomorrow. What's he taking you to tomorrow? If, out if, he, do, if he doesn't feel like taking me tonight, then he has to oh. take me tomorrow. Okay. Where do you go for it? Uh, there's one of the casinos that advertised it, so... We thought mm -hmm. we'd go there and try it. He doesn't like it, so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd cook it at home. Ah. My other one, she's she's in Japan right now. Oh, really? On a trip? Yeah. Have, yeah. have you gone? Yeah. Crazy girl. They, they, they've been gone for six weeks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They went to Bali, and then they went to Vietnam, and then they went to Cam Cambodia, and they went to Thailand, and I think they went to Singapore. I'm not sure. And they went to Japan, and they'll be coming home on Tuesday. Oh, that's a nice long trip. Yeah, she's a brat. <laughs> What what it was though partially is when they went to Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. It's this group of caterers that get together and they go on these food trips, where they you know kind of schedule a tour and everything, and they go try the different foods and they do cooking lessons and different things like that. So I mean, in a way, it's kind of related to business, but then not. Mm -hmm. Sounds like fun. I don't know if I could do that for that many weeks. About ten I'm days totally. max. Ten days max is enough for me. Yeah, that is a long time. Yeah. So who came in? Talbert. Oh, hi, Tilbert. She said, hey, Nana and Gordon, love your cooking stream. Nice and inviting. Cabbage and corned beef sounds yummy also. Especially since it's St. Patty's Day. I like the it cabbage, just not the corned beef. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my son's birthday. You remember what that day is, don't you? Yep. I'm going to send uh, Tracy the link to join us. 
Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I just a mom. Is that just a mom, Mazio? Yeah. Hi, just a mom. Hello, just a mom. Gordon's making orange chicken. And he's doing it like he's done it before. And this is yeah, the first he's, time. He's a pro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get that recipe. That just looks really easy yeah he uh, had it marinating in the refrigerator for an hour before oh he got to the next stage of putting everything in it I bet that's going to be delicious mm -hmm. Taz I don't know if you guys can hear Taz he's over somewhere making noises nope Taz, Taz, come here. Big, big bruiser. Yes, he is. Have you seen Molly. Davida's baby? Oh, yes, it's precious. Isn't she adorable? She is so sweet. You could tell that she's just not going to be timid at all. No. Yes, she likes to. Yesterday, Davida was on live for a little bit, and oh, she, we're watching her and and um, Angie play. Oh my gosh, it was cute. Mm hmm. I wasn't on the live, but I went back and watched the replay. Adorable. Oh, okay. I'm glad They're Angie. So cute. I'm glad Angie's taken to her now. Oh yeah. You I never know. I think Angie was very lonely. Mm hmm. I think so. I could drive down there and steal that little thing. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah. She reminds me of yours when they were babies. Yeah. They're so precious. Precious puppies. Yes. And doesn't she kind of look like a miniature version of Angie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> her, her coloring and everything. Yes. Definitely. I know Davida's really enjoying her. Yes. It was a heartbreak when she lost Polly. Yeah. Albert says, hey, chat, coming from Newfoundland. We ate lots of beef and cabbage. It was our Sunday dinner. Sending love to our Davida Lane. No. Oh. Yes. Yes. She said the family's going to gather tomorrow. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I think she said Jason was coming to pick her up. Is Jeremy cooking? I don't know. I bet they eat somehow. I bet they either go out or that or he cooks. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt if he cooks. Boy, he's a mm -hmm. good cook. Him and Gordon together would be just a killer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Gordon, you're being awfully quiet. Who? Oh, Gordon. Mm hmm. He's just concentrating. Hey, Gordon, I like your shirt. Probably can't hear. You're supposed to, you're supposed to cook these till they're like a tan color. So. Uh -huh. Gordon, do you need to turn the volume up a little bit? Do what? You might want to turn your volume up a little bit so you can turn, hear it. Turn it up? Yeah, a little bit. How's that? Can you hear us? I can now. 
Okay. Now I said I like your shirt, Gordon. Oh, thanks. I usually <laughs> wear it around the 4th of July, but it's the first one I got to in the closet when Patty told me to put on a Hawaiian shirt. So. <laughs> hey, it works. Mm-hmm. Works any old day. That's right. So are you going to cook the chicken more later? All right. Do you cook the chicken even more later on? Cooking it more later on? Yeah. Like, no, no, not really. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'll cook vegetables. It'll be mixed in with hot vegetables and stuff. But... That's what I thought. I don't want to get too much going on at once. <laughs> That's such an easy recipe. I'm going to have to do it. No kidding. Yeah, it's on the me. community page, too. Okay. I always thought you had to, like, dunk it in the egg, the, the flour, back in the egg, and all that stuff. <laughs> well, you sure made it look easy. Hey, yeah. did. Thank you, Lucy J. Mm hmm Yeah. That'll save me 50 bucks on Uber Eats. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. And then I always make my rice in the pressure cooker and it comes out perfect each time. He does it so. in the rice cooker. Oh, yeah. same thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've got a little rice cooker and that works wonderful. I've never been able to cook rice on the stove. Yeah, because the first layer is stuck to the bottom usually. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, one time, when, one time when I was a kid, my dad was making rice on the stove, and he was a guy. And guys didn't cook back in the fifties and sixties. Yeah, he got that stuff. He got that stuff, and it was rising up out of the top of that pan and overflowing. Oh rice my was going, god! Rice was going it expanded. <laughs> Remember when popcorn used to do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you yeah. used to make it on the stove. I've never been able to make good popcorn on the stove. My son can. Remember I, Jiffy Pop? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a treat when we were little. Mm -hmm. It was fun to watch it. <laughs> yeah. It's more fun to watch it than to eat it. <laughs> it was. Yeah, there was always a lot of old maids in the bottom of them. Mm -hmm. I got one of those um, popcorn poppers like at the movie theaters. Oh, do you? Yeah, I haven't tried it yet, though. That must be Hey, tasty. Tracy. Oh, she didn't have her volume on. Oh, there she comes. Hey. Hi. Hi, Hi Tracy. Tracy. Hey. So good to connect with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? How are y'all? Doing good. 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 Great. I mean, I know we were like chatting in the chat. That's just different. Yeah. So, um, oh, we all see everybody's chatters. Yeah. I'm going to chatter sometime. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to sell some more charms on Christiane's? I don't know. <laughs> I'm never prepared. Um, I've been making some things today. I've been working on some pins because I have so much stuff. I think it, I get overwhelmed with all the things that I have. And I want to make this. I want to do that. I want to do that. Just try some different <laughs> things. Yeah. You have to kind of just focus your mind. And yeah, I don't, I, I've taken to when I think of something, I'll go to the notes on my phone and put it, put it in there so I can remember what I was thinking about. That's a good yeah. idea. Well, I like to do that, or I'll make a list. and Write my it list, down. Yeah, and then my list turns into another list, and 
then it turns into another list and it's I know when <laughs> people people say they got a block and they don't know what to do I think whoa yeah. I, I don't know where to begin I got too many ideas yeah well I have accumulated all of these beads and all of these fancy beads and I love them <laughs> so I mm -hmm. got these organizers and I set up my organizers and I did it by colors um blues greens pinks but I did all of the colors and it's so aesthetic it looks really pretty I don't want to mess it up but I've been working on that and just trying to get some things made and do some different things I don't um, get getting organized is a never-ending job you're exactly right. <laughs> I've made some, um, the carnival, I call it like a wreath that you take a, like a, a wire and you bead it like with different beads and design it and um, hang like a figure in the middle. Or you can hang oh. them any, anywhere. Oh you can gosh, I bet the, that's pretty. You, you do different different kinds of beads like I have some that have like you take the ball pin and you make the little flowers you bead it through and then you make the little put the little bead cluster the flower clusters together and you add some different other beads wow. in different shapes um have a moon. that sounds pretty yeah mm -hmm. they're, they're um they're different I haven't really shot I haven't shown those Oh, you're um, gonna have to. That sounds really pretty. Did somebody few... show a picture of the reefs? Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know I that thought I... Randy or somebody did. Um, not not mine. I haven't shown. Christian mine. did, or maybe Christian. Okay, Christian. Or the reef. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. That, um, I thought I'd seen them. No, know. she did. She hasn't done. No, she's done keychains and purse purse. No, I mean just a picture of it. She wasn't showing them yet, I don't think. Oh. Yeah. Just showing her these. what she had. Oh. I, mean, I haven't shown these. These are like been like in the back in the reserve. Like just kinda like because I don't I don't know how people would like them and I've got some different sizes. I've got some smaller ones. And I have some that I can like in the works that I have these beautiful glass butterflies that I'm gonna put to hang from in the center. Ooh. Um, well, take pictures and see that you know, when Christiane does a community, put them up and see if anybody's got an interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. They could, they could contact you and tell you what colors they like. And yeah, it's, um, they're different, you know, it's, it's something different. Well, you did you pretty good with color. the purple. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Purple. We I like have, different. Um, yeah. That's why I, that's why I said when Steph was selling that Afghan and it was purple and it was so pretty, I went, okay, I know who this is going to go to. Uh, <laughs> I love and it. Having purple butterflies. I love yes. it. The color butterflies. I need to find them. I was just looking at them. They're, um, they're just, they're glass. They're like a, on one side, the back, I call it the back side because it's like a gold shimmer. And then the front is purple, that, that, um, that iridescent purple. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll well, send you a picture. You, you sold yeah. pretty good with the purse charms, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. They're, um, well, it kind of helps, though, when you know what people want. And so mm -hmm. it kind of helps what, you know, where you go from there. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's really hard to guess. I used to do craft shows, and it was really hard to guess what people were going to like. Yeah. Right. It's, I'll, I like to, I mean, it, for me, it's um, very therapeutic to just sit oh. in here and to make something with beads and just like your mind isn't really like I th I think I think doing arts and crafts is the best therapy anybody could have because you just you just focus and it calms you down so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. It does. You know, 
in psychiatric hospitals, a lot of times they, they have arts and crafts that people do. Mm-hmm. Therapy. Yeah. Therapy. Yeah. Well, well, look at look at Nana. How she she just loves her diamond painting. Mm-hmm. I've got yeah. a pretty one. I'm, I started last night. Oh, I have really? to show y'all. Yeah, it's a little different than anything I've done before. Mm, nice. The one I the one I keep thinking about was that Jesus one that Davida got. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh! Oh, that was pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, goodness, I did not even see the chat. Um, to see how many people are watching or who else is here. Yeah, who is? I can't see the chat. Well, Diamond Lucidity came in and Aurora came in. Hi, Aurora. Hi, Diamond. I got the last batch of chicken in now. Okay. Yay. Starting to heat up the oil in my wok to do the vegetables. Okay. Mm. And your rice is already finished. What? Your rice is already finished. Yeah, it's already done. I turned off the rice cooker because if I leave it on warm, it tends to overcook the rice on the bottom. Yeah. 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 We. I love our rice cooker. I know. I like rice made that way. My husband introduced that to me. Um, okay. Mine did too, Tracy. And, and here I've got water chestnuts, uh, yellow, Yum. orange, and red, green pepper, or bell peppers, and broccoli and onions. Ooh, mm. perfect. Yum. Look at that. He's cooking like a regular chef. Look at that. What, diamond lucidity is making mashed potatoes. Yum. Hey, Laura. Mm. That can be hungry. I mm-hmm. made this recipe last weekend. I just got in the kitchen and I like I make up stuff. Um, but I, I usually make like stuff that chicken thighs and I wrap them in I guess stuff like a sausage in the middle and then wrap bacon around them and uh, season them up and, and throw them in the oven and bake them and I made this stuff in last week and I took the Jimmy Dean maple sausage and I diced up an onion bell pepper and some garlic and I sauteed that with a little bit of um just like a tad of butter and some garlic. It's, I use some seasoning that I have. It's, and I sauteed that and I threw that over in my sausage with some breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and I made like a filling. And I stuffed my chicken thighs because I like thighs because they stay juicier. And I Ooh. stuffed my chicken thighs. I put Parmesan cheese and cheddar cheese in my sausage mixture in the breadcrumbs. And I stuffed them, rolled it up, wrapped them in bacon and they made these big like stuff they were so good I baked them and then um broiled them when they were done on the top so that they could be crispy that was so good that sounds good it was so good I just was like wow I did was this that, was that a <laughs> recipe you found or did you just no, do I just it made that. I just, made just it did up. it, huh? <laughs> yeah. I say, let me try this. Um, throw this in here. You know, just some breadcrumbs, like maybe a half a cup, three fourths, three fourths of a cup, my lot. Um, um, Parmesan cheese, kind of bind it. It was, it was good. I was impressed with myself. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. Hey, Gordon. Yeah. Somebody has a question for the chef. Talbert. Talbert has a question. Okay. What What is the best pan to cook with oil deep fry? She gets nervous with oil. I'm sorry. What was the question again? 
What is the best pan to cook with oil, deep fry? She gets nervous with, with cooking with oil, deep frying with oil. You can, you can, you can see this skillet. It's a pretty deep skillet. It's about that tall. And they make them even, they make them taller, but a deep skillet if you're not going to be using a, uh, a deep fryer. Okay. Cut your, cut your splatter down a little bit. What'd you say? I said it cuts down on the splatter. Oh, plus, okay. the other, plus the other thing is don't get your oil too hot. I only had that about probably on a six. And don't, don't, don't get going too hot. Okay. If you set your if you set your grease on fire, use a use a lid or use a like flour or something to throw yeah in baking there. baking soda but, or something. Yeah. Biggest thing is don't freak out if you get a fire going. Just put it out. <laughs> yeah. And what's the best thing to put a grease fire out with? The lid. The lid. If it, if, you, if it didn't get away from me at first, put the lid on. Some people throw a towel on it. You, anything to smother it. Fire okay. extinguisher is the best. You should have a fire extinguisher in your kitchen like yeah. we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I bought um, some of those fire blankets. Yeah. How was that, Deb? I wondered about those. Timu. Yeah. Fire um, blanket. A fire blanket. Huh. I actually bought two or three of them so I could keep them in different rooms. Um, because my brother had a um, oh, he had some company over and he had a candle on the coffee table. And when the company left, he went outside and was talking to him. Uh -oh. And the candle caught the coffee table on fire. And when they came back in, the whole coffee table was in flames. Oh, oh my. and um, the fire department told them the best thing to do is get those fire blankets and you just throw it on it it automatically goes out and um, so he went and bought one for each of his kids I I've seen the ads for them but I wondered how they worked yeah they they're recommended by the fire department so i'm sure they work good <laughs> yeah because you just have to smother that fire yeah and god don't ever don't ever pour water on a water. grease fire yeah don't throw it in the sink either <laughs> yeah yeah well one thing i learned with navy firefighting yeah there's three things you got to have heat fuel and air if you if you take away any of the theory it doesn't burn Air is the easiest one to take away. Yeah. And my neighbor's, uh, my old neighbor's son, one time was cooking. I don't know what he was going to cook, fry, French fries or something. So he heated up the oil and he, he put it on high to heat up the oil. And he got distracted and was playing a video game. Well, it caught on fire and it burned the cabinets above the stove. Yeah. It's lucky mm. he didn't burn. And they lived in like a double wide trailer. He's lucky he didn't burn down the whole trailer because those things yeah. will bur burn fast. Okay. Yeah, they okay. Will. okay. My next step here, I got that you cook your vegetables. So they say they're al dente, a little bit, a little bit soft, a little bit hard. The next thing is I'm using uh, Panda Express orange sauce. Recipe says you can also use P.F. Chang's, but I got this at Walmart easier. I'm just going to pour this whole bottle in there and cook for another 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yum. I'll be right over, Gordon. Okay. <laughs> really. <laughs> I was going to say, I wish he was making that when we were passing through town. Did you stop, Deb? No, because we were going to stop on the way back, and um, Tamaya was exposed to strep throat and the flu mm, from her mm. sister. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to so, have that around Patty. Yeah. And so we didn't stop. 
Darn it. Yep. Well, I'm sure this won't be your last time going there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Teddy, you've been buying some good things on Christiane's auctions. I have been. I really have liked it all. The, uh, are most of it for the kids? Yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah, most of it's for them. Birthday presents and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she has some save it, beautiful stuff. I can't save it. They get it when I get it. So, uh, you know, I can't I do, wait. I do that, too. Mm -hmm. I bought some stuff for my daughter's birthday, which is in May, and, and she'll probably get it when she comes home. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I usually can't wait. Hey, Gordon. Yeah. Did you get me a drink when you went and got ice? Yeah. If you happen back this way, would you mind bringing it? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding in the bedroom, guys. I'm not feeling the greatest today. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. How's Aurora doing? Yeah, Aurora, how are you doing? Thank you. Robert says, okay, thank you. Said had a fire as a teenager, panicked, and it was not good. Put Ooh. it underwater in the sink. Thank you, Ooh. Gordon, for the advice. God is good. All the time. Mm -hmm. Did she get burnt? Did you get burned, Hobart? Hope not. Oh, yeah. That oh, grease burns are terrible. Yeah, they hurt. I had a, a cook and bacon one time when I was mm, probably early teens, and I probably had it up too high because it was, you know, not knowing that much about cooking yet. And uh, I had a big splash, and it hit the back of my right hand, and I had a scar there for years. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my. Aurora said bad. she was just diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Oh, I'm sorry, Aurora. Are they going to start doing infusions or? Didn't mean to interrupt you, Jackie. No, I said, are they going to start doing infusions? I don't know. Oh, you had a second opinion. Willie. Why has it taken so long to get her diagnosed? Aurora, can I tell the story? I don't know if she heard you, Patty. Oh, sure. Yeah. She um found that on her medical records recently that there was a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis and no one ever told her. And it had huh. been like nine or ten years that it had been in her records. Oh my 
my God. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Isn't it? <sighs> Poor thing. She has suffered so much. Yep. She has. And Tobert says that it kind of blew up on her curtains. Got um, got mostly on the hands and forearms, eyebrows and lashes singed, but she was lucky. Oh, geez. Yeah, I, I bet that did scare her. Mm-hmm. Well, the first you thing you do... With it? First thing you do is you panic when there's a fire. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your thought is to get water on it. But then, you know, you find out many years later that was the worst thing you could do. Oh, how awful. Oh, now I want some orange chicken. It looks good. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. I thought you fried the rice also. No. Okay. Served over white rice. Are you all finished? Well, that oh, looks good. Yum. There you go. <laughs> wow. That looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Are you hungry, honey? You can go ahead and eat. I'm not that hungry. Okay, I'll eat it. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's got to taste it. Yeah. I'll definitely be making that. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I wish I could get the sauces right. I mean, even if I use a recipe, it doesn't taste like like regular Chinese food in the restaurant mm -hmm. and stuff. I need I need somebody to show me or something. I don't know. Looks delicious. I think I definitely cook the vegetables too long. I do know that. Because they're supposed to have that crunch in them. Yeah. They call that al dente? Yeah. Looks good, honey. You going to send me a picture? That you gonna smells send me a picture? delicious. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try it in just a minute. Good. Tastes great. Good. Okay. Good job, Gordon. Thank you. Bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Bye, Thanks, Gordon. Andy's gone. <laughs> Tell him it was good seeing him. This is very good. He brought How me too that? much food. Yeah, he did make a pretty big plate. I thought he was just doing that for the whole a bunch of us. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be saving part of this for tomorrow. Yeah. How is the how is the uh crunch on the chicken? Good. Perfect. Great. Mm-hmm. You'll have to post the recipe in your community. It's there. I put it there already. Oh, cool. I was going to show you guys the diamond painting I'm working on.
Let me spotlight myself. Well, I'm already spotlighted. Oh, wow. Oh, see it. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. It's a water mill. Oh, that's gorgeous. Looks like someplace you'd want to take a vacation to. Mm-hmm. That's going to take a while. It is. It's big. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not as big as that one you did. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I've done a, a lot. I like the coasters you were doing. That's what I was just thinking. I love those coasters. They yeah. were so cute. I'm still doing yeah. coasters. Well, I'm not right now, but I'm getting ready to again. I plan on it. I wish you'd do some and sell them. Well, I put one of them on Gordon's Etsy site. One set. Oh. And it didn't sell, but I think I need to put more than one up there. Yeah. Does he like Etsy? Or do y'all like the music? He finally made his first sale on Etsy a couple of weeks ago. And um, it went went through. Everything went good. Yeah. Uh, I, need to, I haven't... I need to open up or else I haven't done it. He sold a necklace. Oh, awesome. nice. Great job. Mm -hmm. Hi, TC. Yeah, I keep Thank thinking about, I want to sell things, but I keep thinking of what platform I want to go to. Do I, I don't think I want to do Etsy. I'm thinking about doing whatnot, but then I'm thinking about, you know, I could even start a different channel and just do my own auctions. Yeah. yeah. Deb and I are going to do an auction pretty soon when she gets ready. Oh, cool. She's got a lot yeah. of stuff she needs to sell. Yeah, she did pretty good when she did that before. Before mm -hmm. I move. <laughs> I love, I, that little, I, love that, <laughs> I love that little heater I bought from you. It just warms up my bathroom just nice. Yeah. Except my son stole it. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, good, that, huh? goes. <laughs> that good. Yeah. It's, you know how that goes, it. Deb. The kids take your stuff. Oh, yeah. I miss that, though, my son not being here. He used to go grocery shopping at my house, <laughs> you know, and I'm yeah. just like, do you need this? Do you need that? You know, I miss mm -hmm. that. I would do that when I lived close to my mom and I was single. I would go, I didn't buy groceries, I'd go to my mom. Oh, grab. <laughs> it was just me. I, would, I mean, I'd get a few things and um, that I needed, but I would just go grab. Whatever mom had. Well, I used when I used to go to my mom's house, she'd fill my car up. Uh -huh. You know, with <laughs> big things of toilet paper and canned goods and. Does anybody remember when the government used to give out the cheese and butter and flour and stuff like that? The commodities. Yeah, yeah it was mm -hmm. I think in the seventies, later seventies. Because I'm pretty sure it was that. before my daughter was born. And she was born in 82. Well, my dad was of the age that he could get those things for free. Well, mm -hmm. he'd, he'd go every week and he ended up getting so much stuff. He'd end up giving us some. We always had butter and flour and that cheese. But I never liked the cheese. Was, that big old block of cheese. Yeah, remember that big old block of cheese? Big old block just, of cheese. You just look at it like, oh, Oh my goodness, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> well, you know, um, when I was on WIC, when I had, you know, babies that were foster kids, um, you know, they would, you could only get like the blocks of cheese 
on work and I used to, um, you know, put it through my uh, food processor, you know, and shred it. Oh. And then I used to put it in bags and then freeze it. And I'd just bring it out when I needed it. My and dad used to freeze up, but he'd just freeze the whole big chunk. I used to freeze um, butter. Yeah, I always freeze butter. I used to buy, like, when they had, um, this was <laughs> back in yeah. the day, before two years ago. Yeah. When the prices started soaring. But they would have, like, a 10-pound bag of potatoes for 99 cents. Uh-huh. I used to buy them and bake them all up and make twice baked potatoes and then wrap individually wrap each one and put it in the freezer oh, that's and that way wow. we had we Over had twice cheaper. baked potatoes anytime <laughs> we needed it you know oh, that's so i learned idea. to live on nothing because i oh, i've always yeah. been a single parent so mm-hmm. i had to find ways to do it we had to be thrifty Yep. And I always buy the value pack of um, hamburger meat. It's like three and a half pounds. And I'll cook the whole thing up and then put them in freezer bags individually and stuff like enough to make spaghetti and stuff like that. So on a weekday when I'm working or whatever, which I haven't worked forever, but I would just grab that out and just throw it in the spaghetti sauce and it would mm. melt in there. I never and thought I about, have free, to, about freezing I it like that. I, I, I've taken like the big ones and just cut off like a one pound chunk or maybe two pound chunk and, and wrap it up and, and freeze yeah. that. I never thought about cooking it beforehand. Yeah. And then that way, um, you only have to clean one pan instead of, you know, for five yeah, meals, yeah. cleaning it five times, you know. Well, you could pull it out I'm and lazy. put it in tacos okay. or chili <laughs> yeah. or spaghetti. Or... Yep, that's what I do. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea, Dip. Mm-hmm. That chicken spaghetti Gordon made a couple of weeks ago, we did that. We froze some of it, and it was really good, and we, we ate it later. Mm-hmm. It was still good. I know. I love. I love when you got leftovers like that, and you can freeze them and and just yeah. pull it out when you don't feel like cooking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought one of those um, seal a meal things. Yeah, or, is that what they're called? No. Yeah. yeah. Vacuum bag. Yeah, I have one of them, and they work great. Yeah, I defeat it. And, Dave. Hi, Davida. Dave. Are you working today? Yep, TC. TC says, I hope all you women are still holding tight together and watching for your victory. P.S. All that butter and cheese came from my country, Ireland. <laughs> Happy Patty's Day. Uh, <laughs> Happy Patty's Day. One of my favorite days of the year, just because I love the corned beef and cabbage. Mm-hmm. Sorry, no, don't like, off. sorry, don't like Guinness. Oh, the making some off. dinner. Mm-hmm. What you making, Davida? <laughs> yeah, what is what are you making for dinner, Davida? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting the lowdown. Remember how she always tells you or asks what everybody's yeah. making for dinner? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that will be nice, Davida. What she what she say? She's, She's going, going to, the, to cemetery. the cemetery with the family tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's going to be together. I hope Jeremy's going to feed you also. Yeah, Jeremy cooking? Yeah. I want his kitchen. 
Oh, I mm. want his whole house and yard. Yeah. <laughs> My son bought a house. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Nice. It's um, really pretty. It's like a looks like a plantation house. It's got um, a balcony all the way across the front of it. Ooh. It's really, really pretty. I haven't seen the inside yet. Only pictures. But how how far away is he from you? About 30, 45 minutes. Well, that's not too bad. No. Nope. Is I thought did you have a son or daughter that lives near as well? Mm-hmm. Our daughter, we've got a daughter that lives 10 houses down from us. Oh. And um, and another daughter that's about 15 minutes from us. And then the son has to live the farthest away. <clears throat> Don't get me started. Uh, do you have two sons? <laughs> Just one now. We, we lost Melvin. Okay. It's been almost two years, huh? Mm hmm. This summer, right? Yep. June. Wow. I guess I thought you had a son that had well, your grandkids, but I don't know. I guess I'm. I'm yeah, I'm she does. Okay. Yeah. She has a son with grandkids. That's the one that just bought a house. Oh, so yeah. they just bought a. They just bought a house close to her? No, he um he recently went through a divorce and they sold their house and he's been renting for almost a year. So he finally found one he wanted to buy. Well, okay. Really, really, <laughs> really pretty. God, that's not bad. Melvin had a couple of kids too, right? Yep. Are they still in California? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Melvin had his first grandbaby last year. Yeah. And um, she just turned a year old and, recently. And the, and the new great grandbaby, how's she doing? Oh my gosh, she is so precious. <laughs> oh, she does yes. not even look like a baby anymore. She looks like a oh. little girl. Oh. <laughs> She's got two teeth and one or two more coming in. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm Aww. She's so sweet. We She's all waited so... for her. She was such a pretty baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tons of hair. Well, that was the baby that was born around the time Mallory. Well, same age as well, Mallory, my niece's baby that had the was born with the heart um her pulmonary mm -hmm. valve wasn't developed and she had, so she had to have heart surgery before oh. she was um she was oh she was little oh gosh um a month or two months old she turned one in december so okay. yeah okay yeah that and was the california grandbaby that because it she turned one and February, January, into January, February, and then the one that's here will turn one in July. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. the time has gone fast. Mm -hmm. that's long. Wow. Too fast. Oh, they're so cute at this age, though. Mm hmm. From, I mean, they're adorable when they're first born but from about five months on they really start getting that personality mm -hmm. yeah Mallory's doing great she's so so cute they're so oh so she's oh, okay good. now Tracy yeah yeah oh. she's just so precious and her, her her brother is adorable he loves Spider-Man and he just <laughs> Loves all things Spider Man, and it's Aww. so cute. She, they're just cute. Kids are just so. How old? How old is he? He will be 
three in May, and Mallory turned oh. one. Yeah, I love that three year old boy thing. Mine was hooked on uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah, everything <laughs> is Ninja Turtles. <laughs> he loves Spider Man. My sister got him a Spider Man when those power wheel cars. Oh. She sent me a video where he was sitting in his. They had it in the house and got it for him for Christmas and went too long ago. They had it in the house and he was in it and um his mama videoed him and he was talking to his sister Mallory. She's learned she learned to um to walk and so she was standing up beside him, checking out the car like he's just touching the buttons and he was like, I'm going to Yaya's. I'm going to Yaya's. Come on, let me go to Yaya's house. It was so cute. Just so cute. <laughs> And where did where did they live? In Mississippi, Ocean Springs along the um Gulf Coast. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, that's be nice. You don't get to see them that much, then, huh? I don't. I um when I go home, it's always so so hurried. Um, but I'm planning a trip home soon. See my family and visit. I just want to take some days off and just go and not be rushed. Good. It's, That'd be um, fun. Yeah, it just takes, it's just so long. Like when you drive, it's like a five and a half hour drive from uh, where I'm at um, to home. And then to visit, it's like, it's just, it's so, it's a, a rush to visit. You don't get to see everybody, spend a good amount of time with everybody when it's time to go. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lucy, Jay. Lucy, Hi, honey, we, hush. Lucy, Hi, honey, we loved hush. You. Lucy, we loved your recipe. It's delicious, Lucy. Very good. Yeah. You stopped. So Heather's going to be a grandma before too long. Yes, that's hard to believe. <laughs> she looks like mm -hmm. 30. Like she's in her 30s. Sometimes I think she doesn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. She has a tendency to take the weight of the world on her shoulders. Yeah. Right, Tracy? When I turned 50 was when my health started going downhill. Mine was 40. Mm, because of your lupus. lupus. Yeah. Now I've got diabetes if I'm on top of it. I'm cutting back on, I just saw the endocrinologist and my A1C was still 7.8, but that's because he said I just had gotten over COVID. And so he said that probably kept it up a little bit, but. He was pleased because we're starting to cut back on some of the insulin, especially oh, especially the long term. Um, I used to do forty five units at night, and he's cut me back to thirty. And my levels have been staying a lot lower. That's great. Yeah, so if I can keep them, you know, start keep cutting them back, that's that's good news. Um, <clears throat> My sugars are doing really good on the on the shots, so oh, I'm good. Olympic. Yeah, that ha I think that really does help a lot. Mm hmm. And then losing the weight that that helps a lot. Mm hmm. Um, was I going to ask you some? Oh, do you have the meter? Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, just like a glucometer, or is it something else? The one you put on your arm? Oh, no, I don't have that. Gordon oh, does. You should, oh, you should get one. They're fabulous. Yeah, Gordon's got one. That's right. I forgot Gordon had diabetes. Mm -hmm. I know. He probably loves it. I love mine. I guess they've got one now, though, that uh, is for type 1. And it's the, the meter and... Uh, I guess it attaches to an insulin pump. 
So it will adjust itself with the meter and the insulin. Wow. I wasn't eligible, but it sounds really nice. Yeah. I think my friend got one and she's her she's had diabetes since she was ten. And her mm -hmm. insulin has gone up, up and down, up and down. And she you know, wakes up in the middle of the night and she's crashing down to sixty and oh she's she's even gone down to forty and ah, oh, she could never really get it balanced and now that she's got that meter and the pump, it's really helping. Mm. Honey Hush, Honey Hush says that she's had an aneurysm to the okay. main artery to her heart oh. in regurgitation. Oh, no. Goodness, oh, Honey Hush, I'm good. sorry. Yeah. What can they do, Honey Hush? Patty, Lucy J said yes. Okay. Well, Lucy lost her her baby today, her puppy. Oh, her, her little tidbit. Oh, she had um cancer. Oh, how old? How old was he? I think thirteen or fourteen. Oh, little, little Chihuahua. Oh, Lucy, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Lucy. <clears throat> Me too. Oh, painful. It's a hard day for her. I'm sorry. And the house is so <laughs> house is so empty without him. Yeah, that was her only baby too. Oh, she got the birds. She got birds, but no, no other doggy. Oh, there's nothing like a dog. It can come up mm -hmm. and cuddle with you. Mm hmm. I like when my daughter goes away because I get the dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming home Tuesday, she told Donovan to put the dogs in the house and then pick them up later at the airport. And I went, Oh, she's taking my dogs. Mm -hmm. She liked That's me moving stuff. down here and she put a dog door in the wall because she knew that I was going to babysit the dogs. Mm -hmm. But it's hard because I'm attached to them. <laughs> Yeah. Please share. Share fair. <laughs> fair and share. Davida says Jack has the best outlook on life. Love her to pieces. Oh, love you, Dave. <laughs> we do too. Love Just her to pieces. One step at a time. That's all you can do. Mm hmm. And like the whole thing goes, shit happens. It yeah. Does, it? Yep. No, Honey, no. How did they do surgery? Sorry. No. Yeah, um, I wonder she, what they're gonna do for Honey Hush. She just left. Her daughter called. Oh. She'll be back. Or wait, back. Sorry. Oh, she is back. I'm sorry. I read it wrong. That's okay. So ask her again, what, what are they going to do, honey, Hush? I've, I've been, been doing okay, honey, Hush. I'm worried about you. Yeah. I'm hanging in there. <clears throat> the Vita I have my two iron infusions and I feel better. Oh, good. Davida didn't yeah. tell us what she was cooking, did she? No, I don't think so. Yeah. She did? Uh huh. What? Oh. I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, Honey Hash did have surgery. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Davida, we were just talking about your puppy. Oh, Davida is cooking Bukatani? Bukatani? B U C C A T I N I? That's something not I didn't know what it was. I don't know what that is either. I don't either. But it's Italian, so I'd probably like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it a type of pasta? The other night she was telling us all about the Asian salad she made. Oh, it sounded so good. Have you ever gotten an Asian salad dressing and made your own Asian salad? Yeah. No? Oh, it's so good. So good. I just like Oh, this guy taught me how to make it, and the salad dressing wasn't too bad. But I like some of those Asian salads they had. And mostly, what I did was lettuce. And you ever seen those noodles, those white noodles that you put in oil and they go puff and they uh -huh. kind of blow up? I put those in rice the salad. Noodle. Yeah, and, yeah, rice noodle and then uh, uh, mandarin oranges, and then that uh, Asian dressing. Oh, so good. No mm. walnut. No, no, I never put walnuts in it. Use, um, oh, chicken, chicken. I'd put chicken in it. Oh, yeah. I use mandarin oranges, slivered almonds, chow mein noodles, the crunchy chow mein noodles, the Asian dressing. Yeah. Green onion, romaine lettuce. So good. Oh. I know. Now so you have one now. <laughs> My husband even ate it. He was My husband likes meat, it too. He was even he was the meat and potatoes guy. Honey Hush says the doctors couldn't get her blood to flow in the right direction. She's been very sick since she had COVID in twenty twenty. It did something oh. to her. Doctors keep saying long-term care. Oh, no. Um, oh, no, long-term COVID. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Is that what caused the heart problem? I don't know. Probably. It's been affecting organs. Mm-hmm. That long term COVID has. He just had it a couple of weeks ago. My son came home one day and says, I don't feel good. And I go, You don't sound good. And I said, Take the test. And he took the test and it was positive. And we were trying to isolate he'd stayed in his part of the house and i stayed in my part of the house and i'd cook something for him and put him up put it on the table and then he'd come out but guess what <laughs> i got it mm -hmm. so much for isolating <laughs> yeah, I I yeah i probably should have been wearing a mask the whole time but i probably was exposed before he even knew he was sick mm -hmm. yeah I was sick, but I got through it. Davida said, Bucatini Amaterisiana. You can use either bacon or pancetta tomatoes, onions, and pasta. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. What kind Honey of seasoning? Hmm? What kind of seasoning? Garlic and... Honey Hush says she's on oxygen now, 24-7. Oh. COVID affected her lungs. 
Oh no. Mm. It'll do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe out of three people in my household, nobody has gotten COVID yet. At all? Good. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is Jazzy still working? Yeah. Wow. Jazzy wears a mask every day at work, but oh, um, good. But Tamaya doesn't at school. Yeah, that's the schools are petri dishes. Yeah. Oh, Alicia, be so. I was just going to ask about Alicia. Mm -hmm. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Alicia. She said garlic, red pepper flakes, parmigiana, raggiana. Oh. oh. Sounds good, Davida. Mm hmm. I'll be over. Uh, don't apologize, honey hush. We're curious to know what's going on with you. Yeah, with everybody. All of our old friends. Yeah, Lucy J. Gordon already made the orange chicken. It turned out really good. It was delicious, Lucy J. Mm hmm. He now already Deb made it and I already ate it. Now Deb and I want to make it. Yeah. Mm hmm I think you should. I will. I like it. And Monday night we're going to do a um, coloring and Talking about our memories of Carol Boyce. Uh, our sweet Carol. Yeah, it'll be a year ago that Monday that we lost her. I was thinking the other day it was around this time of year. Yeah. I couldn't remember exactly what day it was. So bring your coloring books and bring your memories. And if you don't have memories, bring yourself. I love that you miss her laugh, Jackie. I do. That laugh of hers <laughs> make me just laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's even making Deb laugh thinking of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was the cutest yes <laughs> it was I wish we had it on record to, to rec you know on a record to let everybody hear how funny she was mm -hmm. yes you will get to see him cooking Lucy if you rewind you get to see the guy cooking I think Does anybody really have any prayer requests before I, so I can write them down? Well, it looks like Honey Hush needs to be on there. Definitely. Yeah. I put her on the list. And Lucy J. Yep. And Aurora. Aurora, yeah. I think she's already on there, isn't she? Aurora? Yeah. Yes. Davida, I still got your daughter-in-law, Daniela, on here. Does she still need to be on there?
put Heather's daughter on the list too, please. Okay. Just having a few complications. Okay. Callie is her name. Uh, Allie? Callie. 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 K-A-L-L-I-E, I think. Callie. Okay. Right, Lucy J. This has been a hard weekend for a lot of people. Jesus tells it, us it's okay to grieve, but not like those who have no hope. Yep. And you're welcome. Amen. Oh, that's good news, Davida. About her daughter-in-law? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is really good news. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and say the prayer and... Um... Get ready to end the live. Okay. And everybody can stay on visit on panel if you want to. Okay. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you with many thanks for all that you do for us and also with needs. You know those needs before we know those needs. I'd like to ask for special prayer for the following people. Davida's daughter-in-law, Daniela, Clarissa, Aurora, Honey Hush, Heather's daughter, Callie, Lisa D. and her parents and brother, Help Me Rhonda's sister, Suzanne, Tracy's dad, Carol Clark and her family, Foxy Bot, Shannon M. family, Aurora's mom, Lori Colley's mom, Debbie Dahl's husband, Sentiments and Papers daughter, Brittany. We'd like to pray for our world, our world leaders, and all of the children, and especially, you know, anyone that's suffering. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Well, thanks everybody for coming. I appreciate it. I hope to see you Monday. We'll be getting together around six o'clock um, Central Standard Time. And uh, we'll just have a have a good evening. Yeah, it was nice seeing everybody. Thanks for coming in. That was great seeing everybody. I love yeah. it. I love it when the old timers get together. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.